Neighbors say they're worried not just for their own health, but for the health of others in the community who could be potentially exposed to toxic chemicals from the home. Oh, this stuff's dangerous. It kills people. No. And Pretty sure the residuals of it are going to kill people as well. Shady Cove resident Cliff Mead remembers the shock he felt last year after learning his neighbor's home was contaminated with meth. Uh, how much of that is carried over to my property? I don't know if my well's contaminated. I don't have the money to check it. We told you about Lori Biando in December of last year, who said she paid Medford-based Nielsen Research Corporation to run tests for methamphetamine residue. I am living in a home that is infested with meth. <laughs> And I don't know what to do. The report showed six out of 10 sites in the home tested over the Oregon Health Authority standard. The company's owner, John Nielsen, said the Shady Cove Police Department, which disbanded years ago, should have reported Biando's house to the state clandestine drug lab program. That's after a 2002 police report showed the home as the site of a major meth bust. They did not report this to the state that, that they went in and busted a drug lab on this property. So they dropped the ball. But the Oregon Health Authority also told us last year it didn't have any record of the home in its database. According to Tim Shaw, the environmental consulting manager for NWFF, a company that cleans up meth residue, that means the home isn't required to be properly evaluated and decontaminated. Even just using meth, the, the, the gases that are given off during the use cling to anything and everything. In his three years cleaning up homes contaminated with meth, Shaw says the toxins are not only dangerous to ingest or touch, but can be very tricky to get rid of. He says it can take days to weeks, and that's if it's done right. There's a whole series of, of steps and procedures to handle the contaminated material not expose yourself and not expose others. The homeowner declined to interview on camera, but told us she's tearing down the house herself and doesn't see any health issues there at all. That's a major problem for neighbors like Mead. My thought is, where are they taking the contaminated soil to? Uh, are they having it put into the landfill? Are they taking it to biomass and burning it and putting it in the air? Shady Cove City Council says they've heard concerns from property owners. The City Council says they can't require the property be cleaned up according to Oregon Health Authority standards because the home isn't listed in the state's clandestine drug lab program. Live in studio, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.